Inside that, we have a text input edit text. Next, a text view with passive. Inside that, we have a text input edit text. And at last we have a submit button. Let's see the Java code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members of the class. In the onCreate function, we set the onClick listener of the submit button. In the onClick function, first we get the text from the error enabled text input layout. Then, we check if the text is empty or not. If the text is empty, we set the field can't be empty error message, else we remove the error message. Let's run the app. As you can see, this is the normal text input layout. This is the outline text input layout. This is the text input layout with start and end icons. This is the text input layout with a password toggle. This is the text input layout with clear text functionality. As I click the cross icon, the text gets cleared. This is the text input layout with an helper text. This is the text input layout with a character counter. As I enter a character, the counter starts counting. And as I surpass the 10th character, the text input layout turns red in color. This is the text input layout with error message enabled. As I click the submit button, 
an error message is displayed. And as I type something in it and press the submit button, the error message disappears. So that's it. That's how you can implement a text input layout in Java Android. Thanks for watching.